Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, I've got another video for you. This is the review of the TF2, which, as you can see, it's huge. So what I've done is I've installed it into my test bench, which you can't see by here. Right by into my test bench, yes, my test bench. So um, I've done a couple of benchmarks. I'm not going to do graphs anymore. I'm just going to do it the way I've been doing it. Uh, I want to change up. I don't like you guys just having to watch graphs. I'd rather you guys connect with me as an audience as well as watching me telling you obviously the performance that I've had. So yeah, I've got a couple of benchmarks. I've got Cinebench R20, R23 performance test as well as Geekbench. Uh, the performance, I wasn't exactly uh, thrilled. I mean, it is quite warm right now at the moment in Wales. Uh, if I if I check my phone, I guarantee, oh well, yeah, 22 Celsius. I bet it's hotter than you, so I'd say about 25. So uh, let's get into the um, the benchmark results, and then I'll give you my initial thoughts on the cooler itself. Let me move this by here and pull this around so you guys can see it a bit better. Yeah, yes, it's really nice cooler, really nice. So I've got benchmark by here now. Uh, I've got Cinebench R20, now the idle was 35, remember now it's quite warm here, so it's always going to be a few degrees, it depends on where you are, now if you're in like a cold climate then obviously it's going to be lower, but at the moment we've got a heat wave, so uh, the idle was 35 and the max was a 70.1 Celsius on Cinebench R20, R23 the idle was a bit warmer, due to the fact that it's got time to warm up as well as the ambient air in the room so it was 37 at a ma idle and a max was a 70.6 so almost 71 i was quite surprised because the sheer size on it as you can probably hear it in the background the sheer size on it i was quite surprised on, ha on uh, the performance i was actually expecting better but Due to the ambient air around in this room, as well as Wales having heat wave, it's gonna generate more heat. So with performance test, the idle wasn't much different. I think it was just maybe like a 0.1 degree difference. So it was 37.6 degrees. So it was almost 38. And the max on that was a 72.6. Now I will put them up here on the video for you to read while I'm sitting here talking to you. Now Beat Geek Bench it was a 70 no sorry a 37.2 Celsius on idle and the max was a 68.9 so almost 69 degrees almost that was the, the, the that was the lowest of the test obviously Geekbench isn't going to hit the CPU as much as Cinebench does. Cinebench initially just completely bulks the CPU full 100% load doesn't matter if it if it's a Ryzen uh, 59 or a 5800X it doesn't matter if it's a 5950X which is a 24 core it doesn't matter it's going to peg every single core 100% and just completely and utterly just peg it and get as much heat as possible now my initial thoughts thoughts on this cooler is it's big a down, down, downdraft cooler, first one I've ever done, it's big for one of them. Now, usually if you want, uh, see any of the ones, if you see any of the ones from like Noctua, their face down, uh, face down coolers are a lot smaller in size. This one is quite big. This one overhangs the, the RAM. If you can see, the RAM is below, right under here. So the RAM is going to keep cool constantly that's one good thing i will say is that when it's not doing a lot the ambient it does push a lot of air especially around the vrm uh, vrms as well as your m.2s so it does keep that them components very cool uh the motherboard vrms went up to 34 and the ram stayed at 31 celsius now this is with xmp enabled mind you with xmp it does 
increase the voltage as well as it does increase the heat outload but fair play to this cooler it did keep them very nice and cool and it this cooler is also 1700 ready it's got the bracket included if you watched my unboxing it's got the bracket for it included and it also states black lga 1700 ready now this is a very big uh down face cooler uh, i don't like the clips I, I i'm not a fan of the clips with any brand doesn't matter what brand i don't like the clips i think they're a nuisance um i i, I liked uh, I'm not a fan of them. I think they should make a better bracket, but obviously if they're going to hit a certain price point I guess there's just no way of doing that But other than that, this is such a big down face cooler. I just couldn't believe the size if you watch the um, the Unboxing of it. I was very surprised. Yes, I do drop something Yeah, I do drop something I dropped one of the fans Yeah I'm not turning into Linus, I swear. It's only two products that have dropped stuff, and that was for the PLS Assassin, as well as this. Um, so, yeah, my initial thoughts. It's a good cooler, don't don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic cooler. Uh, the, the, the aesthetics are, are stunning, but that is expected from Be Quiet, where they go all black. Beautiful. I would have liked them to see... I would have liked to see a revision of this with their like their uh, high speed RGB fans, the light wing fans. I think it would be really nice, but obviously you can't have RGB RGB for everything, and obviously a lot of brands are just gonna not really do it. And Be Quiet only sells the fans, so they don't emulate any other RGB into their products. So I understand the the reason why because all black is just gorgeous i do agree it looks stunning obviously this cooler just looks absolutely huge in the 500 dx from be quiet uh it, this isn't a big case it's a small case it's classed as a mid tower but it's very small for a mid tower and that just looks huge let's just say it's a big chungus as linus would say it's a chungus Ooh. yeah so yeah I recommend it, but obviously it's all down to you. Whatever your needs are, if you need a down face cooler, then this one I would recommend. But obviously there's a lot of... Um, there are a lot of different brands out there, like Noctua. They do um, a thermal take, does um, a thermal right. Um, Antec, I think they do one. I'm not 100% sure on the Antec one because I'm not exactly the best fans of Antec at this pre present moment. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to buy it, I'll try and find a link and put it down in the description for you. Uh, it's a very nice cooler. If the, Obviously, if the ambient air or the... When it starts cooling down in Wales, perhaps I'll revisit this and see how far it can go. But... Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I have got more Thermalright products coming. As well as one of the big hurdles I've wanted since I started this channel and I was working with MSI. And finally get into it. I can't tell you what it is at the moment. But I'm working with them. Uh, also, Height, the brand that does, does the, the PC case. The one that looks like a fish tank. That one. That, that brand, I'm getting some products off them, so I'm very excited for that as well. So yeah, things are on the up. I'm hoping I just continue going the way I am. I'd love for just brands sending me stuff. I'd, I love doing what I do. I love reviewing stuff. I love unboxing stuff, as well as I like looking at stuff. Now, make sure you subscribe. And this is Richard from Wildstack. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Sorry, Thursday. And don't forget to hit that like button. Bye.